back to Jazzy61. So today's video is going to be a small haul, but also we're gonna start a little bit of nesting, I think, because we haven't opened anything. And I mean nothing. <laughs> nothing is open, nothing's been put together, and we need to open and put together everything before the baby gets here. So before we get going, I wanna say hello if you are new here and welcome, my name is Jazz. I do everything motherhood, lifestyle, and a little bit of beauty every now and again. Beauty has been lacking since I've been pregnant. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it has been lacking. <laughs> I've been a little tired. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I wanna thank you so much for subscribing and joining the Jazz 61 family. And to my returners, you guys, welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. I know a lot of you have been guessing at what the baby is. We're right there with you. But I wanna show you guys all of the stuff that we did pick up. I picked up a lot of gender neutral things because that's kind of the vibe we've been going with. Um, and then we'll just tilt one way or the other as the baby gets here. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some of these things that we purchased from a few different places. I also want to let you all know I'm going to be getting to your comments. That's one thing I love to do is speaking with you all in the comments. And I have not been getting back to my comment section a lot lately. And I've been just, oh gosh, I, I've just been so sleepy. Like I, I barely keep my eyes open most days, no jokes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm so slow getting back to you all in the comment section, but I love to interact so I get to know you guys. So I'm gonna go and, and get to those comments as soon as I can. But first let's go ahead and get into some of the things that we picked up from the store. So this small haul here came from two places, Walmart and Target. So if you don't know, Target has been having like, this huge clearance sale. They've been selling a whole lot of different things at a really reduced price. So if you haven't checked out your local Target for some things that you may be looking for, that you may be interested in, please go in and do so, you guys. And this is an assortment of baby and post baby for mommy. So I want to get some of the stuff on the floor in the bag first, I think. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand or the company Freedom Mom. They do a lot of um, post natal things so the first thing that i picked up are these freedom mom instant ice pack maxi pads they're normally 17 dollars, but they are they're normally 20 dollars, but they were on sale for 17. so i got a box of these i was going to order like a huge kit from um, amazon but as you guys know amazon can't find my front door for some reason so i found these at target i found a lot of freedom mom stuff at target on clearance so if you're looking for some of this stuff I would suggest you check them out. But Freedom Mom has a lot of things for um, post natal, I guess. It has um, all the different things that you'll need after you have baby to help make that transition a little bit more comfortable for your body. So these ice packs are something that I was interested in. They do give you some at the hospital, but I believe I ran out last time and I wanted to have some on hand at home as well. So they, like I said, they send you home with some from the hospital too. They get you get some of the things out of the room, whether that be the ice packs or the little bottle, whatever you may need. So I got this, it's supposed to be step three, but it's ice packs, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how many are in here. Oh, eight, eight instant ice packs. Basically, you just pop them, you bend them and pop them, and they get real cold. So I picked up some of these ice packs. In this next bag from Target, you guys, it's more for your mom, of course, but... So I picked up these disposable postpartum underwear, you guys. They are normally $16. I got them for $13.50 a pack. They come with eight in a box. Now they do have different types. I got the boy short type because they're a little bit more comfortable. Um, I remember that from the last time I was pregnant, they were a little bit more comfortable than the other kind. So I got the boy shorts. There are eight in here, like I said, they're disposable. So, you know, after there's a little bit of um, bleeding, these are just disposable underwear. So you can just throw them in the trash when you're done with them. You don't have to reuse them or anything. I picked up two boxes of these so there's eight in here and i got them both on sale which was awesome i was super excited when we walked in there and i saw so many of these things on sale i actually went over to the section where they were normally and i'm like oh my gosh i found it and i'm going through and i'm just grabbing stuff and then as we're walking i see that they're marking them down and i'm like let me grab some of those marked down ones instead so that's what i ended up doing so i got two packs of the eight count boy uh boy short Freedom Mom Disposable Postpartum Underwear. The next thing I picked up is what they call a Perry bottle. Um, as you know, if you have any any tearing, um, stitches, sutures of any kind, you can't exactly wipe after you go to the bathroom. 
Um, you can damage or tear stitches, things like that. So you have to have a Perry bottle. Well, the one I had last time was like a squirt bottle, regular squirt bottle. Um, this one has like a little hook on it, so it squirts up, which I think is cool. So I picked up one of these. I was gonna get two, but I was like, do I really need two? Probably not. So I didn't bleed for that long the last time after. So I went ahead and got this anyway. It's normally $16 and it was $13.50 as well. So I was super excited to find the upside down Perry bottle. They have so many things postpartum aside from this. They have like wipes um, that help soothe pain. They also have like the spray. There's like an icy cold spray that they give you at the hospital. It was my best friend last time you guys, I am not kidding. But it was, they have a lot of different things that you can buy and have over the counter, which before when I was pregnant, I had my son Kai, they didn't have this type of stuff. And it was something that I really, really needed. And when I ran out, I was just kind of improvising from that point forward. So I really wanted to be prepared this time. And so I went ahead and bought another one of these. They probably gonna give me one at the hospital, but I still prefer to have one of my own anyway. So the next thing in this bag is lanolin. If you guys breastfed um, or you pumped, or whatever it is you may have done, lanolin comes in handy because it's a cream for your chest when they get achy or they crack and they bleed whatever may happen this stuff comes in handy oh my goodness and i didn't realize how <laughs> handy it was until i needed it so my husband was like make sure you get the lanolin i was like you're right and we went back and found it so i found the lan lancina i don't know i'll, I'll put a close up on the screen but I found some of the cream, you guys, and I just remember last time really needing it and trying to use like Vaseline and other things. <laughs> but this actually soothes and protects them and it's safe for the baby. So even after, um, if you wanna breastfeed again and there's still some there, it won't hurt the baby at all. So that's why you wanna look for the lanolin cream in particular. So I picked up some lanolin as well. And the final thing that I picked up from Target are disposable nursing pads. So I didn't have this issue the last time when it comes to leakage. And a lot of people have leakage issues when it comes to breastfeeding. And I really didn't have that problem the last time. I'm not really, I think it was mainly because of the fact that I didn't breastfeed for as long as I wanted to. And when I had Kai, I was still only producing colostrum for a while. And it wasn't a situation of leakage. So this time I want to try to breastfeed a little bit longer. And so I'm anticipating having some issues with that. So I wanna make sure that I had something on hand and for that region to make sure that I'm not dripping and leaking everywhere. So I picked up some of these. They were also on sale. I don't remember how much they were, but I'll try to put the price on the screen somewhere for you guys if you're needing something like this. They sell them at a lot of places, but when I was looking before, I don't remember seeing them when I had my son, Kai. So. I picked up some Modelo disposable nursing pads. So now we're gonna get into some of these bigger items. I'm gonna start with this right here. So this came, these three came from Walmart. I mean, everything I showed you before came from Target and then this big guy back here came from Target. So the first thing I picked up is a, um, it's a blanket. I forgot what they call them. Receiving blankets? Blanket. So we only really had a couple the last time when Kai was born. And the favorite one, Kai still keeps with him. <laughs> he still has it on his bed. He doesn't, he sleeps with it. Um, it's his blanket. So I don't wanna take his blanket to give to the new baby. So I found this cute baby blanket, you guys, and it has like the cutest little sheep on it. I don't know if you can see the little sheep, but they are so cute. And it's kind of a plush blanket. This blanket was like five bucks. It's a 30 by 36 inch. And I think it's just so cute. And like I said, I got a lot of gender neutral stuff. And once we know which way we swing, which way we sway, we swing, right? So I got this little blanket from Walmart. It's just a parent's choice blanket, nothing too fancy, but it is a plush blanket. It's super soft. We do keep minimal things in the bed with the baby. That's how we were with Kai as well. We, we didn't put a whole lot in there with him at all um, because it's, a, it's dangerous. So typically we just keep something small in there. If the baby is cold, we'll put a bigger onesie on the baby. But this is usually the blanket that's underneath the baby in the baby's bed. So this baby will have their own blanket as well. <laughs> so it has a little sheet blanket. It's, it's so cute. Baby blanket, Walmart. 
So the next thing that we picked up is a nursing pillow. So it actually has like a little, um, like a little seat belt thing in there too, which I think is really cute. Um, so here is the nursing pillow. We got it from Walmart. It has like words like, uh, be brave little one, explore and love on it. And like I said, it does look like we have a little space where you can see like a little seat for the baby, kind of hold them in there where they can kind of sit in there, you know, I'm afraid of them rolling or getting too low into it because they're kind of attached to the pillow. So it's a nursing pillow. It's also just kind of a relaxing pillow for the baby. They can kind of recline in it. They can hang out, do baby things. Not sure baby things are, but baby things. Um, and this wasn't crazy expensive. My husband came in the store with me. It's the Cuddle You nursing pillow. I was looking at a different one online, but as I said before, the ones that I were looking, I was looking at, we couldn't get because as I said, Amazon has a hard time finding our front door and our neighbors down the road, we try to make friends because they keep taking everything to their house and we can barely get them. Like anytime we speak to them, it's through a ring doorbell camera. And I don't want to look like a porch pirate going down there and just picking up my package and walking away. So I think we just have to give it a little bit more time for them to find the door. I think it's going to be something because of the fact that this is such a new address. And I'm like, they just made the road. <laughs> so they're having a hard time finding us, but um, it's just easier to go pick things up right now. We order from other places. They deliver through FedEx. FedEx seems to find the house. UPS finds the house just fine. The post office does. The only ones that are struggling is Amazon. So, um, helping them out for a little while and just ordering from other places because I normally order from Amazon. But this little pillow, not too expensive and it's super cute, super neutral. And I love the kind of positive words on there. Next, we have some baby diapers. So as I said, I want to be more prepared than I was the last time. Today, we're gonna to be going to Sam's Club and my husband's gonna be probably picking up some more of the wipes that we normally use for them. And so I picked up another little box of Pampers Swaddlers. It's just 84, but it's Pampers. We went through a lot of Pampers <laughs> with Kai, okay? So I wanna make sure we have plenty of Pampers before this little one gets here. So it's just a plain box of Pampers. It's like 20 bucks, I'm waiting in there. Has a little line on there. I didn't even know about the line technology, guys. Until until Kai was born, I didn't know. And I was like, why is the little line changing colors? And the lady was like, oh, he's, he's using the bathroom. And when he uses the bathroom, the line changes. And I was like, should I have to keep on talking? She was like, yeah. So pick up some more of those because they are my favorite because of that. I don't have to go up and squeeze. I'm like doing that. It's weird. Okay. So we got some new Pampers. I got some more Pampers diapers for the little one. And the final thing that we picked up from Target is our bassinet. So it's the Baby Delight Bedside Me Dreamer Bassinet and Bedside Sleeper. This is in a gray color as well. It's like a grayish black color. And we picked this up, I think it was 219, 219 or 220. Um, I will show you guys it once we put it together because we're gonna put it together here pretty soon. I'm so excited to put it together. It's basically one of the bassinets that can lower and get taller according to your bed height. And then the side lowers down so you can get to the baby quicker. But to me, it's just gonna give the baby their own space. Whether they're not on the bed with us or anything like that, put them right up next to the bed. And we were, I was really excited because this is the one that I, I wanted one like this. And I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find one. And since Target was having like the sale and everything was going on, there was so many things missing. So my husband walked right up to it and was like, is this it? And I was like, I don't know. So I'm looking at it because it had the right name, but I couldn't figure out if it was the right one. And so he was like, I think this is it. So I'm looking at it online and he's, I'm reading it. I'll kind of figure out if it's the right piece, if it's the right thing. So I'm excited about it because I didn't know uh, we were going to find it so quickly and so easily because I said they only have like one left in stock and he walked right up to it and we grabbed it. So I was super, 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 super excited about finding the back of that. I'm going to pop this bad boy together here in a minute. I've been excited to do it and my husband has been like, calm down Jazz, not yet. And I'm like, when? So now I guess it's time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy together with you guys. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of this nesting. I wanna put a bunch of stuff together. I wanna open that stroller and car seat duo. I wanna go ahead and put the swing together. I wanna put up the pack and play thing. I wanna pull up this guy here. <sighs> excited mom moment. Let's go. Okay, so Munchkin is here and he's going to help me. We're gonna go ahead and pop out this bassinet and see what this bad boy looks like. You ready? Ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it open and nest. Yeah, nest. 
You ready? Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Oh no. I'm okay. Alrighty, you guys. So as you can see, Munchkin is really not going to be much of a help, but he just likes to be around as I'm doing things for the new baby. He's such an excited big brother right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this bassinet together. You guys, it took me 10 minutes to put together by myself. I did stop because the last time when I was pregnant with Kai, I was so bored sitting at home and I would start putting things together. And my husband was just so sad that I was putting stuff together without him. But I wanted to go ahead and get this bassinet together to see if it's exactly what we wanted and it was so i said before 10 minutes was all it took you guys it was very very fast very simple and it looked awesome So now once together, I want to show you all how this side comes down. So it goes right up against the bed. The anchors go from one side of your mattress to the other side. They extend and you can adjust them. And the side completely lowers and completely comes back up. That way it's like the baby is right there, but the baby is also in their own space. And this is how it looks. I really, really like this. And I think it's going to be great for the new little one. Okay, guys. So I'm going to stop here for now. I'm going to put some more stuff together here pretty soon. For the last time um, when we had Kai, my husband was so offended <laughs> that I was putting things together without him. So I went ahead and just put the bassinet together. It was very easy, minimal steps, which was great. And it is all together. If you're wondering about these straps down here, these straps are anchors so you can put them on your bed and that way they'll be secure up against the bed, the bassinet. And then this little guy over here on the side, if you twist it, it's how you lower the bassinet and how you make the bassinet taller so excuse my skin but it's how you lower and make the bassinet taller so i'm really excited i think this turned out great and i like the legs because the legs slide directly under the bed and under the mattress or whatever you need to put it and that way it's kind of tucked up as close as it can be and anchored to the side of your bed so loving the bassinet so far i think it's super cute yay baby stuff so See you guys in a minute my husband is free. <laughs> So as you guys can see, it is a new day. Everything that I do takes like days at this point, but I wanted to wait for my husband. And so we're gonna go ahead and put these three things together. We have the swing, the pack and play, as well as the stroller. The stroller, you have to put the wheels and things on. So we went ahead and started with the stroller because it was pretty much the biggest item to get together. And plus we need to make sure it's together before the baby gets here so that once I am done giving birth, we can actually get the baby into the car and get home. <laughs> so we want to make sure that the things that we're going to be using up front, we're getting taken care of. The other things that we do have that when we put together in this video will be the high chair and the little bouncer 
uh, slash jumper. And that's only because I don't know for sure if the baby is going to be even using that early on. I mean, I was saying that I thought maybe the baby wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to hold up their head. But I remember that when Kai came out, he immediately held his head up and just stared at everybody in the room. And they were like, oh my goodness, he's making way for the next one. I was like, no, we got some time. <laughs> so we're not 100% sure, but we want to get the things together that we know for sure we're going to be using off top. So the first thing we're putting together is the stroller. You guys, this was really simple too. It, pretty, it comes in like one giant piece. You put the wheels on there and the car seat sits in the stroller, which is one thing that I really liked about Kai's stroller. That way I don't have to try to strap the baby into a different stroller or a different seat. Just take the seat out put it right on top of the stroller and it comes together perfectly. I will try to link all of these things in the description box if you guys are interested in them. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let you guys enjoy us nesting as a family. <laughs> So this is the completed stroller. I really, really like it so far. I think it's nice. The wheels are very mobile. They move back and forth, side to side, all that good stuff. It's great. I also like the height of the handlebar or the bar that you push with. I think it's awesome because sometimes they're too low um, when you're tall and it really, really sucks. But I really, really like this stroller so far. I think it's going to be great for our new little one. And now on to the swing, you guys. I really wanted to put this swing together to make sure it works. So I thought initially that the swing had batteries. The last one we bought for our son Kai had batteries that operated the rocking motion as well as all the sound and everything else that came with it. This one actually has a USB cord. It did not come with the actual plug part, but we have a bunch. I want to show you guys this because there are no numbers on anything. <laughs> We were sitting over here guessing on what looked right. Now, I've noticed here recently a lot of things that I have been ordering, they don't have the things labeled in the packaging. So you're pretty much just kind of guesstimating on if it's right, putting things together that look the same, and if one works, maybe the next one will work. And that's kind of what we were doing here, but nothing was labeled, and my husband and I were kind of just winging it on putting it together. Luckily, we got it together pretty good just based off of the picture as well. So maybe you don't even need the numbers, which... That's weird if you don't need the numbers because of the fact that it has numbers on the instruction manual. <laughs> so we did get this put together pretty easily. You guys, I love this little swing. Oh my goodness. The swing we have for our son, Kai just went back and forth. This one goes side to side and it has all kind of little, the little spinning mobile, little night lights, all kind of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and be quiet and let you guys enjoy as my husband and I work together. Oh, that's another thing you guys will see. If my husband's putting things together, I have the instructions. We typically do that together when we put stuff together. It goes so much faster that way, kind of teamwork making the dream work, you know what I'm saying? So you'll see me sitting with the instruction manual, pointing at pieces and him putting the pieces together. And that's how we just tackle stuff as a unit. And it's been working for us for the last like eight plus years. We get stuff like that really, really fast. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let you guys enjoy the nesting.
comment section down below. How do you guys go about putting things together? Do you usually work with someone? Do you work faster or alone? Let me know what you think down below. And I left this clip in here for you guys because you often don't see my dog. I know everybody asks about him, like, where is the dog? I see the dog food. He's so tiny and sometimes he gets lost in the, in the sauce, you guys. So I wanted to show you guys what this swing looked like all put together. This is how it rocks. So the chair actually swivels. I will show you guys that in a moment, but it rocks side to side like this. And then you can turn it to face the other direction. So the baby can rock side to side or front to back. At the top, I was showing all of the commands that you can do you can make the swing go faster you can turn on music you can turn on the like night light feature it has like stars up there and i just think this thing is so cool i didn't realize it had so much stuff on there but it is so nice and i'm just so excited for our little one to actually give this thing a try and the funniest thing is our munchkin if you guys don't know we have a three-year-old he wanted to get in the swing so bad we had to stop him from getting in there we didn't want him to break it but my husband's going to turn it from the side now so you guys can see it on the side and i just think this is going to be really nice it's not just one motion it goes back and forth side to side whatever is more comfortable for your little one is what this swing will do and it's really neutral has a little line on it and it is just adorable and now we're going to go ahead and pop open the pack and play so this is kind of a mobile everything right it has like a little play yard it has a bassinet that you can take off and put back in it has a big bassinet for the baby to lay in it also has a changing table and it also has a little thing that you can like store all of the diapers and wipes and rash creams on the side just pop it up and take it where you want it to go it has wheels on it, it has a little pack and play carrying case my husband was like don't we have something like this i was like not like this and so i was excited to finally have this thing put together it took us a little bit because we were making sure we put all the little pieces together perfectly and we did get it knocked out in about 30 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and you guys can enjoy more of our nesting I wasn't aware of this but this is kind of a floating bassinet if that makes any sense it kind of hovers over the bottom pieces and basically I was gonna buy a pack and play mattress anyway but now I'm really gonna go ahead and order it because I think it's gonna fit right in there perfectly it puts the baby up a little bit higher and once you take it out the bottom is where the baby can just kind of hang out and play so I'm gonna go ahead and order that mattress probably within the next couple of days this is actually a changing table we put it on the wrong way you guys we had to unlock it and turn it around it was an easy fix though so it didn't really matter but we got it flipped around this thing really has just about everything that you could use everything that you could need 
kind of in one space. And I think it's really neat that everything is like right there. And my husband's like, don't we have something like this already? I'm like, no, we don't. We have the bassinet, but the bassinet doesn't come with all this other stuff. Like right there is like a little area for the diapers and the wipes and everything else that you may need to change the baby. And then that part just completely folds out and lays flat. And I really, really love this thing. I love little woodland creatures on it, you guys. That is actually the bassinet that pops out. Really like that thing. It's it's such a all-in-one package. And I think it's so cute. We're going to roll it around the house. You see it has the wheels and it locks the same. It's just so cute and so cozy. And I'm so excited to bring our little one home so that we can start utilizing these little pieces. the baby stuff that we're going to put together for now put together there is the little pack and play which moves around quite a bit it has a changing table as well as a portable bassinet the little bassinet on the side pops out but we're probably going to leave it in there hubby did most of the work yay hubby he's watching the alumni from his school play in the tournament um so here is the play yard super excited for everything that we got done so thank you guys so much for watching this video um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank everybody that's new. Thank you guys so much for coming in and for subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you to all my returners. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. That's it? Can't say bye? Say bye. All right then. Bye.